Well, good morning once again. It's Monday morning, buses are canceled because last night they had a crazy, crazy, oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, Saruman is looking for us. <laughs> he sent out his scouts. Uh, crazy windstorm last night and this blew the snow. So it was snowing plus that. So I'm not looking forward to seeing what the driveway looks like. Because when it blows, you get the the drifts. So it might be like nothing in one spot, but then really high in the other spot. Oh boy. So once again, doing the driveway. Um, yeah, there's been people that have texted and emailed Carol saying how bad the roads are and there's cars, there's a road north of us that's all closed because two cars are in the ditch and they're trying to get them out. So it's like, do you go to work or do you not go to work? And most of the kids aren't going to be there. So uh, yeah, it's one of those decisions you got to make. Like I said, there are spots that there's hardly any snow and then there's spots that was this high. So that's a foot of snow across there, all over this area. And then the driveway. So that's a pretty big pile of snow there. But right down the center is not much, but off to the sides. I'll need a snow bar for that so I don't wreck my back. But because of where the cars are parked, depends on how much debris is placed in certain spots. Time to clean off the car. Got the car all cleared off. Can you hear it? Ambulances, fire trucks. It's chaos out there, people. So that's where the car sat. Even underneath the car, there was snow. I got the car as cleaned off as possible. It's already snowing on it. So, but that's the car with the best wheels. Definitely got to upgrade these wheels. They're good on, on slippery conditions, but not going up a hill. That's a steep hill. We discovered that one last night going to her brother's house. So, we will get snow tires on it today. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> uh, Good morning to all of you Dominic Nation fans. Dominic Nation fans. Uh, yeah, I'm just driving Carol up to the gas station. Her friends got a, a, a all-wheel drive super duper vehicle, so safer to go in that vehicle than she offered. So Carol uh, still has to go to work, even though it's definitely not a safe day to be outside. And I have to think about what I'm going to do for a food review today. Something close by. Either something close by or something from home. Uh, I was thinking of doing the 100 Tim Hortons coffee thing, but uh, I'd have to drive all the way into Bradford. Don't want to do that. Anyway, drop Carol off. Hope you have a good day, hon. Thank you. Yeah, hope it's safe. Hope none of the kids come in. <laughs> none of the girls just get out the wine yeah. in the school board and get wasted. We just came up this road and somebody's in the ditch already. Unbelievable. There's no way she's getting out of there. Got your cell phone? <laughs> no problem. Yeah. He just lit up a smoke. <laughs> oh boy. Obviously it is very scary out there. That was a BMW, so probably it was a rear wheel drive. And he was accelerating up this hill and lost control and in the ditch. Oh well. He had his cell phone made sure. He waved me off, said thank you. You gotta stop, you know? If he was in a if he wasn't in as deep, then maybe we could shovel them out. Uh, two things I should have brought with me is my hat and my gloves. I just figured I'm dropping Carol off, coming right back, but things like that can happen. And uh, you know, if he wasn't as stuck and I needed to help him or he flipped his car, 
I need to get out and help him, so, uh, or her, whoever's in the ditch. Okay, let's go home, work on the vlog, think about what I'm going to do for a food review today, and, uh, get a, get a food review out to you guys. Made it back to the house, nice and safe. I'll do that later. Get the editing done first. This can wait. I'll finish the vlog, it is uploaded. Uh, I've also responded to a couple of you guys who left like crazy long comments with tons and tons of information on how to help me with my new channel. Uh, right now, while we're talking, I'm testing this lav mic. And uh, cause some people did say, maybe you should start using a lav. Um, again, you have to have like multiple sources of audio when you're doing video production for the fact that this might fail. And if this is the only thing I have on, uh, then you could possibly get screwed. So over the last two years, I believe I've bought, I have a really nice like $3,000 mic kit that I used to use when I used to do video production. And uh, it used to work really well on my big camera, uh, but it didn't work really well being plugged into an audio recorder. And I've asked you guys for help in the past, but I just don't have time to, try and work out the bugs or some weird bug that when you record with a lav mic to uh, a video recorder and then you try to sync up the video recorder audio with the GoPro footage, it doesn't sync. So you're literally wasting tons of time trying to sync the audio. I know there are programs out there, but again, these are all these steps. I just don't have time to deal with and try to learn and, and uh, I'm doing other things. And then when I'm not doing other things, I need to sit down and relax and do nothing, right? So these are my, my issues uh, that I have to deal with, uh, but I'm, I'm so thankful for you guys. But anyway, so right now uh, I'm gonna go from the lav mic, so this is the lav mic audio. Uh, from here going forward, it's gonna be the lav mic audio. While I'm talking, um, I can't remember exactly what I was gonna to talk to you guys about. Oh yeah, uh, so one of the things that a lot of people don't get or don't remember or whatever, people all people all are all saying that my videos are exactly the same, blah, blah, blah. But, and I can't remember if I talked to you guys about this yet. So apologize if I'm repeating myself. Uh, I used to do three fast food videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, actually way back when I would do two. I'd do a Tuesday and a Friday. And the reason I did that was because often there was a holiday on the Monday, we we're at the cottage or whatever, and there was no way I could shoot something at the cottage and upload it from the cottage back then. I didn't have the, the data plans that I do now um, or, the, or the money to upload one gig files, so it was a pain in the ass. So I always did Tuesday and Wednesday, and they were both fast food reviews. And then over time, uh, I realized that I could possibly get away with doing three a week, and so I did three a week, and everything was running smoothly. And then, you know, then health concerns start coming out when you do it like that. And uh, so I th thought, and, and Paul and I came up with, let's do a cook and review on the Wednesdays and we tried it and I was so scared to do it because I thought like the backlash were going to be crazy. And, but we did it and the, it was like, I like texted Paul that day as it was, as it went live. I'm like, dude, people love the show. And I shot it with this little camera and uh, the comments were just ridiculously awesome. And uh, so we, we, uh, kept going with that. So now, and then throughout all this stuff, the two people forget that I've given you guys um, challenges, which are completely different from my food reviews. I've given you Thirsty Thursdays, which is a little different. Ice Cream Sundays, which is a little different. Veg and Review, which caused absolute mayhem on my channel, but it was different. I'm trying to, again, I'm always trying. People say I'm not trying but I'm constantly trying to update. And I understand that these videos are possibly stale, 
but they're the ones that are making me money. Like any, any McDonald's video I do makes money. Uh, any of the top like t five big chains in the, in the US. So McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, A&W, maybe that's not one of the big ones, but it still does well. Um, uh, Pizza Hut. But again, there's only so many things you can do at these places unless you start creating new things. Uh, so now I'm gonna switch back to this audio. This is now the camera, uh, the, the Canon audio. Maybe I should just flip back and forth and see what you guys like. Anyway, so, and I get the whole, you know, the music stale and some of my sayings are stale, but I've given you guys tons of other videos, so I'm hoping you guys remember those. Uh, what else? Well, I've not, and I've done in restaurant reviews. And when I, this is the this is the part that drives me nuts because people are like, oh, you're so stale. You guys, you know, you should, maybe you should do restaurant reviews. And so I go and do a restaurant review, and people lose their minds and saying sell out, and all the freaking comments are sell out. He paid you to say that, blah 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 blah, all the way down. Like you said, or like we've been saying from the beginning, you cannot please everybody. And the only thing I can think of doing is possibly leaving my fast food review the way it is maybe change the music maybe change some things on it and just do that for mondays or fridays do the cooking reviews on wednesdays and do full-on restaurant reviews not food reviews restaurant reviews uh and i it's endless so that that would be and again a lot of people and i've already been thinking about this for and i've already done it a bunch of times so a lot of people I've been thinking, you know, do kind of like man versus food type thing. Uh, again, I don't, I don't want to ever get into eating large quantities of food ever again. I don't want to, unless it's a challenge and I just feel like it. Um, yeah, this is going to be a nice long vlog for you guys. That's uh, over six minutes so far. Well, yeah, 622. Again, I appreciate every single piece of support because I'm actually going through every one. There was a lot of comments on that video that I asked you guys about. Uh, I guess that would have been Saturday's video, but it went up on Sunday. Yeah, I'm trying to formulate a plan. I'm hoping you like this plan where, again, it would be a full-on restaurant review, cooking review, fast food review. Uh, and then now you're only getting one fast food a week, so it won't be as monotonous you know what i'm saying so again no, that's funny nobody complained when i did three a week three of the exact same style every single that's probably what burnt people out maybe i don't know but uh, yeah changing up the music i totally agree maybe changing up a little bit and again doing it piece by piece one of the gentlemen by the last name price thank you very much for your super long amazing comment all broken down very professional written i like that yeah, it was very, very helpful. Again, some of the things that you were discussing is kind of the things that I'm just talking about now, which I've already thought about. And uh, I like your idea of going down to the new YouTube space, maybe finding out if they can actually help you out with a business plan, especially when I guess you have a YouTube channel that's the size of my YouTube channel, which isn't very big anymore. I remember when I had 800 subs and talking to somebody with 200,000 subs was just like, oh, but now, pfft, 200 sub 200,000 subs is still an amazing accomplishment uh but now there's thousands of people that have a million plus uh subscribers so it's just crazy 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 anyway so thank you very much for all your help i hope you like this little test that we're doing with uh this is the road i'm wearing the road microphone and this is the road microphone app i had the light version but i wanted to try the the uh I guess they had a, a $9 app that I bought and I'm hoping that it does really well. That would be great because like I said, I really want to do the restaurant reviews. I, I've been watching Man vs. Food and again, if I could combine a couple different TV shows that I really like and enjoy and turn it into a Ken Domic style, uh, then let's do it. Uh, again, I don't make enough money to hire a camera person to shoot this. And you want a good camera person to shoot this. You can't just go by the seat of your pants and hope they're fit, pointing the camera in the right direction and hoping they're getting the good shots and hoping the sound works. And But anyway, this is why you have to have multiple sources of it. If I start using this in my in-car review, then I have to make sure that I still use the 
Rode microphone that's in the car that I normally use. Uh, and another point is I'm still trying to pay off all my debts from this past year, which included all my travel, all the travel stuff I did for you guys and for me, not for just you, uh, for all the traveling I did, hotels and all those expenses, plus CraveCon, uh, plus our trip out east, like all that stuff, I'm still trying to pay it off. And there's no point in me right now going out and spending a couple thousand dollars on two brand new GoPro cameras, which is, you know, it would be great to go 4K. I'd be the only food reviewer that I know that does 4K, but I don't even know if the program I'm using right now does 4K, but um, I guess we'll see. And, and again, the file sizes will go crazy. Now I'm rambling. But uh, this is a great discussion, and it's, it sounds like it's probably going to go on for like a few more weeks to a couple months of going back and forth, and then I'm going to be putting up. Like today, I figured out maybe not go out and uh, possibly get into a car accident and just do this today. These are the decisions I have to make and I have to think of. What's funny is when I think about doing this, I'm thinking about, okay, it's Monday. What was the last video I did? What's my next video I'm going to do? Will this fit into this spot on a Monday? Uh, I think the craziness of that might do really well, but the fact that there might be the other type of people that might lose their minds because I'm eating kangaroo. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not like I ran out and shot a kangaroo illegally or an emu or a crocodile <laughs> then to squeeze by hope he wasn't naked just finished watching a video on how to use that app a little bit better there was a couple of really cool tips the person told me uh literally before you start to record with your lav mic through your phone number one swipe up hit uh What's it called? Air, airport mode. And that way you don't get any interruptions of phone calls, emails, texts, whatever, which is the best piece of information on there. And then uh, he showed me all the steps to go through and then at the end how to export it properly. And so I've attached it now to my Dropbox. So now it instantly goes to my Dropbox. And uh, right now Ben is cooking Python. Just kidding. We're making some omelets for lunch, breakfast, it's just 10 o'clock. And uh, Ben's got the snake, the snake is shedding, as you That's can why see. why looks all weird. Yeah, he looks all tattered, but he's got some around his eye that we have to take off eventually. If it gets, if yeah. it doesn't get it off. Yeah, he's supposed to, he's supposed to do it himself, you know. That's why we got the snake, so he could just do his own, own thing. So what do we need to do with that? I just kind of roll it over just to make sure it's cooked on this side. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Grab an extra plate. <coughs> oh yeah. Let that heat up. What did you put down first? Did you put butter or? What? Did you no, put, I didn't bu put butter on it at all? Because you said you. It kind of seemed like you were like ready. To, it's ready to cook. No, no, no. You gotta put a little butter or margarine. All right. For the taste test, how'd, how'd it go? Good. It's good. Yeah. It's pretty much what you would make me. Yeah. And it definitely helps, I think, with uh, a little bit of margarine or butter. Oh, nip slip. <laughs> <laughs> People don't mind looking at a guy's nipple. Jeez. Like, it doesn't really... The snake was after... Oh, Sonny's interested. We got Ninja, Sonny, Sam... Al, uh, Salazar mm -hmm. and Bam. Hey, you did fix your ear. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Just wanted to give you a little heads up as to what I'm up to. Uh, just finished shooting the kangaroo, crocodile, emu, uh, jerky review. Got my walls up. Used the spinning wheel of death. No, I didn't have these. It's not a spinning wheel of death. Is what I meant. Yeah. Don't eat that. That's not good. So you guys will probably see the video before and that's what they look like. I'm not sure if that's a better view. That's a better view. Hard to see. Maybe that's better. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Interested in eating a little kangaroo crocodile emu. Just grabbed a glass of water so I can start editing. Took a few minutes to compress the file. I think it took me about 11 minutes with all this screw-ups and chewing and stuff that I had to do. So uh, now it's time to edit. 
let's get busy. It's about quarter after four. I was like in the middle of doing it, about 25 minutes into a live show when Carol texted me, I'm on my way home. I'm like, okay. And she goes, uh, don't forget to pick me up at the corner. I'm like, ah, oh, dude. So I had to uh, cut my live show short and promise that I'll go on later. Uh, another kerfuffle is the fact that Paul and I were on my way from my mom's house to come to my house to edit on Saturday and then go to Paul's house to pick him up to go to the concert. He's like, oh, you should come over. We should uh, shoot a cook and review. And I said, yeah, that'd be great. But I needed to get home and edit. So because we didn't shoot one there, we can't shoot one tonight. I think it's too late. Let me just turn that down a bit. There we go. Now I can see. And tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so we can't shoot one tomorrow night either. And I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to have to give him a call. Craziness. Okay, Carol, tell people how your day was. <laughs> how was it? How many kids showed up? Three? No, nope, we had 17 out of 25. Wow. Yeah. Again, you have a heavily walked-in class, uh, class yes. right? Yeah. So a lot of kids aren't bussed in uh, because of where the location of the school is. There are more walkers than bussers. Whereas other schools uh, in the area, uh, when most of them are all bussed in, and there's like eight kids or whatever. Anyway. Well, I'm glad you had a good day. Did you have a good day? It was good. We went to bargaining, and it was fun. Nice. It is now 10 after 8, doing a live show. We're reading trivia cards, and uh, Babs and a bunch of other people are nailing all these awesome questions, and they all wanted to say hi to you guys. So I'm just going to turn down the, the brightness of the screen so it doesn't blind you guys. So, okay, guys, start rocketing your names, and you guys can say hello to all the uh, vlogging people. So we got Christina... Devin, Babs, Chase, Andrew, Eric, Crafters Magic, Eric from Minnesota, Barbara, Brandon, Jessica, yo, 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 what's up, home skillets, uh, whooping crane, yes, <laughs> that was one of the trivia questions, and people just keep using the same uh, whooping crane comment, and we got Chase, Berserker, Andrew, so we've got Saturn in here, we've got Utah, Jessica. All right, guys, so that's all I'm doing tonight for the vlogs, and uh, we will see you again tomorrow.